Hi everybody at Tulloch Nursery. Well, a week already. I hope you're all safe and well. Hope you're looking after each other, big people and little people. How did you get on with last week's video? Did you have lots of fun making music? What did you use? What song did you use? If you didn't use Karen's, I would love to know. So if there's any pictures or any small videos, send them via Hazel and I would love to see what you got up to. Now, for this week's activity, you either need chalk to do outside or a lot of preparation for this one but this is a good one or you need make sure it's the right way pieces of paper don't know if you can see that so you can draw around anybody's feet these were just my shoes and feet but you can do obviously yourself boys and girls or little brothers and sisters or bigger brothers and sisters and the big people in the house do as many as you want. Now I have done seven left and seven right, okay? So however many you choose to do, make sure they're equal numbers. So the same for the left and the same for the right, okay? So that's your preparation. The chalk is if you're going to do it straight outside. I don't have any chalk, sadly. That's why I've done it on paper. It'd be slightly easier to do in paper because we can change the activity and we can develop it. Obviously, it's not a waste of paper because you can use these so often in so many different ways. And then when you are eventually finished, you could turn it into bunting. Or for a keepsake, you could keep one of the shoes or both the shoes to say that that was the size they were in June 2020. Okay, so it's entirely up to you, but the paper is something that we can develop. Outside, we have to do loads of different variations, but again, it's up to yourselves, all right? So your preparation, you need to draw around as many feet left and right, okay? But before we do our activity, what do we do? We need to warm up, don't we? So what I need you to do is to make sure that you are in a space. Now, do you remember how we find a space? Apart from using our super duper eyes. Helicopter, that's it. So make sure, now I've got a fridge, so try not to do it near the fridge. I'm gonna move. There we go, let's try this way. Yeah. Okay, so for the first one we're going to do, we're going to do Dingo Dango Scarecrow. Ooh, like this one. So make sure there is nothing lying around that you're either going to maybe wibble wobble and bump your head or slip on. Okie dokie. Are you ready? Perfect. Alexa, play Dingo Dango Scarecrow. Dingo Dango Scarecrow by Toddler Fun Learning from Pat Spotify. Oh, Alexa, pause. Just getting carried away there. 
Okay, the next one, we're gonna warm up everything. It has to be Shake Your Sillies. I know you like this one, you ready? Alexa, play Shake My Sillies. Shake My Sillies by Tumble Tops from Pat Spotify. Stay in your space. need to do again because it's in the video you can pause this at any time is go and get your preparation all right I'm going to take mine outside and I'll be right back okay see you soon hi everybody welcome back now I can't reverse the camera around so I will apologize in advance now the reason why it is easier doing the paper and I'm just about to show you, okay? So, in case you hadn't, I hadn't said earlier, we're going to do a form of hopscotch. Now, when I do hopscotch in the classes, I either use the spots or the hula hoops, um, like two reds, a blue, two yellows, a green. So you're not just learning balance, you're learning colours and everything. But obviously, we're doing these videos at home, we don't have access to any of these things. Um, so at home, a lot of the children do hopscotch with chalk on the ground, which is absolutely fine. Now, because I'm dealing with preschool children it's good to go right back to the beginning and the, I'll show you why we're going to do it in paper if you can hopefully see it so on on it I've got so your feet are apart and then feet together so just like hopscotch but this is a nice little tip oh it's blown away with the wind as the children are learning in nursery we're learning about our left feet and our right feet um, and they're learning how to put their own shoes on and eventually they'll be tying their own laces and it was a tip that I had been shown which I thought was absolutely brilliant and this will then coincide with our feet hopscotch that in their shoes I don't know if you can see that very well so in your shoes your left foot and your right foot if you do a smiley face or any face any any picture at all so when they put their shoes together the face will be complete okay so it's a good tip for them to learn their left and their right so putting these pictures inside of their shoes so that's why I thought if we do it in paper today then we're getting to know our lefts and our rights Again, there's no right and wrong with this. There really isn't. So, the wind has blown my paper away. So let me just fix this. And hopefully, if I stretch you up here, you will be able to see. Okay. So we're going to start off with the basics. So when our feet are apart, when our feet are together, Apart, together, apart, together, and apart. Okay? Do that as many times as you want. I'm going to do it two more times. Okay? Apart, together, apart, together, 
part together apart. One more time. Ready? So you can do that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> You can do that as many times as you like. Now, as I say, I used seven feet, but you might want to make it longer. You might want to make it shorter. It really depends on the age group of your little one because we don't want to tire them out too much, all right? So have fun with that. Then, your next stage would be that we're going to hop, okay? So you can take your time with this label for as long as you want. And then when you're ready, now this is the tricky one. I've thought about this long and hard. You can either just have one shoe, whether it be left or right, because at this stage, we still possibly don't know our lefts from our right, so we don't want to confuse them. If you know what foot your child is predominant on, put that foot out. You'll know who, what they are. Okay, I'm predominantly right, so I would hop on my right so I'm going to take I hope this makes sense to you all it's really difficult <laughs> so I'm going to take the left away okay so again just take your time with it this doesn't all have to be in one session you can go with this as long as you like, let me just move that a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go hopping now. Right? So, apart, then one foot, apart, one foot, apart, one foot, apart. That wasn't very good angle. That's a better angle. You can go as fast or as slow as you wish, okay? So you can go. That's when you get really confident. But in the meantime, just take your time. So that would be level two, all right? So keep it simple. You can use a part together for both feet and only when they're confident, that is then when you would change it. Now, because it's in pieces of paper, you can do so much with this, right? I'm going to jiggle it around and we'll show you what else you can do, okay? Okay, now, this time, so you can do the hopscotch for as long or as little as you wish. Keep practicing it though, okay? Then, if you're using the pieces of paper, you can make a path, right? So you can make them that they're doing big, giant steps, or boys and girls, you can do little baby steps. It's entirely up to you. You can then weave them in and out that they have to go in and out obstacles. So I mean, we can totally branch this out if it's on paper, so much easier. So I have made it that I have to do giant steps. Like a big giant. Let's see. Okay, so I have to do big giant following the path. Big stretches. Oh. 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 I think I can do even bigger steps. Let's just see. Okay, so I've mixed this one up that it's not just big steps, but it's little steps. Again, adults that are doing this with your wee ones, you obviously can change the gap because I've got big long legs. Boys and girls, you've only got little legs just now, so we don't want to stretch it too much, do we? So, this is big stretchy legs and little stretchy legs. Let's see how Karen gets on. Ready? So, big one. Oh, big stretch. Little one. Big stretch. Little one. Little one. Big stretch. Little one. Let's do that one again. Little, 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 big, little. Oh, 
I have stretched my legs. Okay, so you can do lots of variations. Keep them on the paper. Then as I say, you can weave in and out different things in the garden. You could use cereal boxes, you could use recycling bottles, anything at all. You could get a big blanket and make follow the path and then you have to go under. It's almost like as if you were going on a bear hunt and we have to go under, then crawl under the blanket, then follow the path. Okay, so the most consuming bit is, time consuming, sorry, is drawing out all the feet on the paper. But boys and girls, you can do it. You can help mummy and daddy draw as many as you like. You could even colour code them so they have to step on certain colours. You choose. So it's about stretching those muscles, but make sure before you do any jumping or any stretching, you always do a warm up. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to go and get Mr. Dice and let's do a little game. All right. Hello again. Now you can do this game at home. Obviously I have a dice because I use it for all my nurseries. But you can use just your hand and you could pretend that you're shaking the dice, shaking the dice, number. And the big person, or even the big person just shouts out a number. Or you could use pieces of paper. So don't think because you don't have a dice, you can't play this game. So do we remember all the numbers? Number, can't find it. <laughs> number one was sit on her. Yes, bottom. Number two was touch her. Superb shoe. Number three was toucher. Knee. Oh, boys and girls, well done. Number four was. Can I remember? Well done. Lie on the floor. Number five. This is Karen's favourite. Number five. High five. And number six. Do your own tricks. Are you ready? Okay, so let's give the dice a good shake. Get, make sure you're in a space. Big shake. Number four. Lie on the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. Well done. Okay, let's give it another shake. You ready? Wee. Number five. Give Karen a high five. Yes. Give whoever else in the room a high five. Brilliant, well done. Okay, let's shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, now, oh, it's stuck between four and five. Let's roll it again. Let's roll it again. You ready? Number one. What was number one? Sit on your bottom. Well done. Oh, it really likes number five. Let's do high five then. High five! Alright. Number one, sit on your bottom. Yes. Right, will we do two more? Okay, here we go. Let's try and get a different number. Oh, number one. <laughs> Last time, you ready? yourselves a big clap. You have worked very hard today. Now, if you're ever doing the dice game at home, in between throwing the dice, you can move around in different ways. Remember, we've done it before. So you could just walk, or you could jump, or you could hop, or you could do big giant steps practicing for your hopscotch outside, or you could walk backwards and every time mummy or daddy shout a number, you have to do the pose. So there's lots of things we can do. We've done them over the past few weeks. You can put your own spin in things. All right. Well, that is our session finished. So, but I hope it made sense. It's really tricky trying to explain. I'm not very good at explaining, so I do apologise. But I hope it made sense. Enjoy it. Try the in the shoe and it makes a nice big face. It doesn't have to be smiley. He could be singing, she could be singing, they could be doing anything. And then that will then go onto the foot hopscotch and then you can take it from there. All right, have fun with it. Let me know how you get on. But before we go, 
I think we should do a wind the bobbin. Yeah, perfect. You ready? Wind the bobbin up and wind the bobbin up and pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again and wind it back again and pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to a window and point to a door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Place them gently on your knee. Let's do the baby bobbin. So just your fingers, okay? Wind the tiny bobbin, wind the tiny bobbin, pull. Pull, tap, tap, tap. Wind it back again and wind it back again and pull, pull, tap, tap, tap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to a window and point to a door. Tap your fingers together, one, two, three. See how. Well done everybody. Stay safe. I hope you all have a fantastic week. Hopefully it's not long before I get to see you all in the flesh and we can all have lots of fun together. In the meantime, thank you for letting me do the session in your home. Take care everybody. Miss you all. Bye for now. Bye.